Seems like we just had a random encounter when walking through Kadoan, so... I guess I'm gonna have to let this play out. You can't run forever, Easel. Why don't you just turn yourself in quietly? No, I've never been good at sitting in one place for long. It's a lot of dudes. You've overestimated your ability to escape this time, genius. Well, these things happen. Life wouldn't be any fun if you always won. Seize him, and feel free to break whatever you want. Just keep his head in one piece. That doesn't sound good. Please take it easy on me. I'm a sensitive man, you know. That guy's easel? I have to save him. Charm and broadswords are out of the question, so that's... We can live with that. Well, and these are all the clan members that we have available to us at the moment. Um, Nume... You haven't mastered... ...your basic attacks yet. But I think I'm gonna just have to give you a... Uh, a more powerful rod, just so that you can participate in some way. Actually, do we have a, uh, a hat for you? No, we don't. Okay. Well, this is, we'll, we'll have to make do. Begin battle. I'm assume we'll have to protect Easel. Defeat all enemies. Water damage and silence, that sucks. Uh, so that's one of the ninja abilities. All the ninja abilities do an elemental damage and uh, they can cause status effects. It did not work on Easel because he is a, a magic user. You're a hermetic. Alchemist elites that can manipulate even laws. He's a unique class. He's got some interesting gear, the Gaia gear and the uh, black hat. See. And he knows all enemies puts all enemies to sleep and block arrows. So there's nothing that would suggest that he would normally be immune to uh, silence. So maybe we got lucky. Okay, let's now let's try to blind someone. Seventy percent. 60%. We'll go for the 70 on this tank. Please get blinded. We're overleveled, which is good. Because we are outnumbered. Or are we? No, we're not outnumbered, but we are uh, in peril. Because these are all advanced classes and they all might have good abilities. Neville, what, what uh, white magic do you have? Cure. So I'm just gonna have to wait. So you were Easel Burbier all along. Ah, well, I guess the Moogle's out of the bag. Who are these guys? Why are they after you? Just a little misunderstanding about a job. I ask for 100,000 gil and they call me a gouger. 100,000 gil? Yep, that's all it takes to make laws go away. Pretty cheap, really. See, this guy is uh, an illusionist. Gonna hit every enemy. This guy's a uh, gladiator. I think I just want to hit this fighter. Boom. Try to hit me back, I dare ya. Okay, you're not going to fall for that. That's not good. They do a lot of damage on him. Okay, Mont Blanc. Uh... Oh, I to told you I would use the totem of power. So, you want to see what it looks like? Here we go. I'm going to summon Famfrit.
It looks more powerful than it is, really. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that was the win the game button. Now you should see that he's at uh, one judge point. He had 10, so you need to have 10 to uh, summon him. Well, I guess, suppose that makes our job a little easier. Just have to finish off the tank and the uh, hunter and then we're uh, done. So when I started up the game, I was planning on uh, grinding a little or uh, making sure all my people were back from their quests, but then I walked through Kado and this started, so I suppose I didn't get to do that. I forgot what the laws were. I don't want to break them. That's the wrong one. Laws, charm, and broadswords. Okay, okay. An alchemist named Easel claims he's found a way to nullify laws, looking for information about him and his anti-laws. Numerous requests. So this is the interesting part, is that it was a random encounter, but we can't actually see a mission description. Let me look in there. And we get a random... we get a, a question mark, so we get something that we... Some rewards that we can't see yet. Now, with toxic attack, we should be able to hit this guy, even behind cover. And that should do it. It's a wrap. Are you alright? I seem to be all here. Thanks for your help, eh? I have not introduced myself. I am Easel Berbier, at your service. Yes, yes, I know who you are. I'm Marsh. Had I more time, I'd love to thank you more properly. But as it is, I must be off. Someone else after you? Something like that. It's hard when everyone thinks of you as a genius. I heard that the new Mo call you an eccentric loony. They only say that because they're jealous. This, too, is a burden we geniuses must bear. Easel Berbier, I presume. The Judge Master himself. I'm honored. Huh? Mute's dad is the Judge Master? Might I ask you to come with me? I'd like to hear more about these anti-laws of yours. I must respectfully decline. Sorry, but judges rubbed me the wrong way. Ah, an advanced law. Only the judge master can use those. If I use any ability at all, it's the slammer for me. I'm practically shaking in my boots. Ah, I'm glad you're familiar with advanced laws. Saves me the trouble of explaining them to you. And I do so dislike violence. Easel. I was hoping to avoid this. But I suppose the demonstration wouldn't hurt. Behold, the anti-law. He can stop even an advanced law? Hmm, maybe this. he's smarter than I thought. Back to the palace. Easel, was that an anti-law? Yes, he, he said that. Sure was, it nullified the Judge Master's law, allowing me to use whatever ability I wished. Wow, that's really something. Yes, you might say that I'm really something, but to receive a visit from the Judge Master. Easel, are you sure you're not getting in over your head? No, 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 it's they who have crossed the line. Making all their laws without asking us what we think. Besides, annoying the judges with anti-laws is fun. That reminds me, I should tell you about my store. Your store? You run a store? For trading law cards, yes, it's still hush hush. If there's a card you're looking for, drop on by. Sure thing, thanks, Ezel. 
Anti-loss went well enough for the next one. An R2 anti-law. So any any law that's regarded as rank 2 we can nullify with that. Isenfield. Okay, so it's gonna go right here. Goblin Town. Cleared with style. You can see at the bottom right, there's two different cards there. A silence and an instruments. The silence should mean we can nullify that law. And the other one, the instruments, should mean we can introduce that law. Now one thing I want to do today is visit the law card uh, shop. Card keeper. So that's now been unlocked. So you decided to drop my marsh. Let's trade cards. Put up cards until their combined rank matches the price. Prices change daily, so come off and take a look at what I got. So you have to trade. Your swords, great swords, ganging up R2 anti-law. Let's see. So especially in R2 anti-law. Here it says the rate is 24, so we would need to put up 24 points to be able to get it, because it's very good. Gossip. Say, Marsh, I got a favor to ask of you. Sure, what is it? One of my friends is starting a resistance movement, fighting against the laws and all that. I want you to help. I'll put a request up at the pub. Interesting, so we've actually unlocked a new quest by talking to him. Let's see if there's any rumors. Borzoi's plan. Why is Clan Borzoi restricting merchants from coming and going? You'd think they'd be the ones to suffer with the shop shelves bare. Doesn't sound good. So resistance here. There's an underground resistance trading anti-loss to defy the palace's rule. Try trading, you might get something good. Uh, let's bring our uh, soup. Let's see. Resistance up. Enhances holy power. We'll do that. And we'll see what that's about. If this uh, is something friendly. Yes, they're friendly. So they're blue, which means we possibly can fight them, but we might not want to. Let's see, who are these folks? The resistance. It doesn't it doesn't say, it just says the resistance. Oh, meteorite. Definitely handled. Very good. I'm very glad for that. Let's see what happens. Trade our anti law for your phoenix down, we've got a man down. So if I demand it, we have to fight over it. But if I trade it, then we're fine. We'll trade. Thanks, with law as our enemy, we need every man. R4 anti law. That's very good, very powerful. And then we also get an R3 just from completing this mission. And we got a blood sword, which is also something new. Fantastic. Okay, so let's look at that blood sword. Provoke and worm killer. Sword stained by the blood of men. Drains target HP. Very good. Uh, so a dragoon worm killer. That sounds like it could be something useful. Let's see. Have you been a dragoon? Did I try to make you one? I have not tried yet. I've tried it with Schutmeyer. Oh, or maybe I haven't really done much at all. We'll get to that, I suppose. If you've been watching until the end, thank you very much. I'll see you next time, where we will do some more of the main quest. Uh, we didn't unlock the Azen Field for nothing. The next quest involves going there and investigating what they say is raining diamonds. Thank you, and see you next time.